What up guys, it's your boy Mist from the ABC Duelist coming to you today with an unboxing video for the brand new Destiny Soldiers box pack. Uh, this is a brand new set released uh, not too long ago, uh, which contains support for the Destiny Heroes cards made famous by Aster Phoenix. Uh, in addition to that, we also have a couple other uh, archetypes in this box, preferably the Dark Lords, which had a nice little uh, limited release a long time ago. A few cards here and there, nothing too big. Now they have a full archetype. And of course, the brand new, highly awaited for Abyss Actors. So really excited to get in on this. Uh, I do want to take a moment to apologize to our uh, subscribers. We do know that it has been a little bit since our last video. A lot of that had to do with the holidays kind of coming up, people leaving town, not being able to line up schedules. So we do apologize. However, going forward, we're back to our weekly upload setup. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. So me personally, I'm really excited because um, in addition to the Aster Phoenix Destiny Hero stuff, this guy right here, the wild uh, wild actor from Abyss, Dweller, or Abyss Actors. Yeah, I've been wanting to build an Abyss Actor deck since I uh, kind of uncovered them on uh, YGO. Um, I like fiends, I like actors, it kind of works out perfectly, so I'm ex super excited and hopefully we can pull into enough of the support today to really kind of build everything up. Alright, now let's take our second here. So, uh, this is not a full booster set uh, release, this is kind of like a, kind of like a duelist box. Um, not as many cards per pack, uh, every card is a foil, uh, secret rares are in there, but you know, it's, it's more pretty much just like the Silent Swordsman pack where everything is stuff that's already either come out or it's being re-released or it's getting refoiled or things like that. So hopefully we get into some good stuff. All right, we're going to set these two aside here, remove the box from play, <laughs> and get right on into it. So our first pack here, hopefully uh, we get some good. What we're looking for today, boys and girls, is we're looking for Cel uh, Destiny Hero Celestial uh, or any of the... Or uh, any of the Dark Lords like Ictib and things like that. So, all right. So we're starting off Destiny Hero Plasma, oldie but a goodie, Abyss Actor, Funky Comedian, Destiny Hero Malicious, a brand new Foil Dark Hole. Ooh, fancy, fancy. And of course the Abyss Actor Wild Hope. So this is just one of the many Abyss Actor cards. This guy's effect is pretty gnarly. Uh, once per turn, you can target one Abyss Actor card in your other Pendulum Zone, and that Pendulum Scale becomes nine. So why is that so important? Well, um, the main boss monsters, Superstar and Evil Heal, are, are level 7 and 8 respectively. So being able to pop that scale up to a ranking of 9, where the max ranking, being on a funny comedian, is 8. Obviously, you can see the benefits from there. So, really nice pull there. Um, let's see. Next pack. And we hope you guys all had a happy holiday. Um, you know, that's kind of always important to us. We do understand everyone has lives, and we want to make sure that we're reaching out to you guys, and hopefully you had a happy Thanksgiving. So, next up, we've got Dogma, Abyss Script Opening Ceremony, Dark Lord Superbia, ooh, nice pull, Dark Illusion, and Defusion, woo! So this is the new trap, uh, this trap card pretty much allows you to fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control as fusion materials. Um, and if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. Only Destiny Hero monsters can be used as fusion material. So, pretty much, your own personal poly, but it's a little better than that because it's a trap card. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, next up we have got... Let's see. Ooh, oldie but a goodie, Prometheus King of the Shadows. Uh, if this card is normal summon, banish any number of dark monsters from your graveyard, and if you do, this card gains 400 attack for each until the end of this turn. So, not bad in a dark deck. Um, I don't think it's going to serve too much of a purpose with what we're pulling, but again, I haven't done a lot of research on the new Dark Lord support. I do know a lot about the Abyss Actors. I have been looking at the Destiny Heroes, um, so, you know, I'm still kind of new at this as, as well. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, if you guys see something you like, let me know if I've kind of skipped over it, and we'll go back. And uh, let's see here. So we've got Veil of Darkness. Draw uh, During a draw phase, if you draw a dark monster, you can reveal any number of them, send them to the graveyard, and then draw one more card. Destiny Draw, which is good for the D heroes. Discard a Destiny Hero, draw two. Dark Lord Ede Array. Uh, if this card is special summoned from the graveyard, it gains its effect. If this card attacks a defense position monster, do piercing. And then, of course, the highly, highly awaited Dark Lord Contact. So 
This card is kind of a staple for the Dark Lord engine. Special summon one Dark Lord monster from your graveyard in defense position. You can only activate one Dark Lord contact per turn. So this allows you to kind of cycle out the Dark Lords from the graveyard. And I do know that a lot of the Dark Lords effects have a, a capability where you discard one Dark Lord and this card and you gain such and such. Like uh, Ixtib gives you a draw two. Um, Texakaitalobia or whatever it is. Um, has a couple defensive car uh, capabilities as well like protecting a monster from destruction. So... We got some good stuff here. Uh, contact, definitely a good thing to see. All right. Hands are a little shaky. Uh, dark Mambell. Uh, if you control three or more dark monsters, target one face-up card on the field and banish that target. Not a bad little card. Ooh, and finally, a long-awaited card from me. The reprint of Valhalla, Hall of the Fallen. Uh, this is a kind of a staple card for anyone that wants to run a, a fairy deck as far as I'm concerned. Pretty much just because once per turn you can special summon one fairy type monster from your hand. You must control no monsters to activate and resolve this effect. So, I have no monsters. I've got a nice beefy Dark Lord Asmodeus in my hand. 3,000 attack. Guess what? He's coming to the field whether you like it or not. So boom, love Valhalla. Great card. Uh, an advanced draw, which is pretty nice. Uh, good for those blue eyes decks that are just kind of... Having some draw power, though I don't like the tribute effect, but still not bad. Uh, Creeping Darkness. Banish two monsters from your graveyard that are dark. Add one level four dark monster from your deck to your hand. Not bad. And then one of the new guys. We got Destiny Hero Decider. So Destiny Hero Decider. Dark Warrior, part of the Destiny Hero set. Uh, level six or higher monsters your opponent controls cannot target this card for attacks. You can only use each of the following effects of Destiny Hero Decider once per duel. Uh, if this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one hero monster from your graveyard to your hand during the end phase of this turn. During either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that would inflict damage to you while this card is in your graveyard, return this card to your hand, and if you do, make that effect damage to you zero. So, not bad. Unfortunately, the once per duel effect for Destiny Hero Decider does kind of limit it a little bit, but I still think that if you're going to run a Destiny Hero deck, you might want to see him at three, uh, just because you want to be able to pull into him to get that add, so... Not bad. Now keep in mind, I've never run a De uh, Destiny Hero deck, although I, I do have some ideas for a variant. Um, been trying to find an engine that works really well with my Silent Swordsman, and Destiny Hero seems to fit the bill, so hopefully uh, we can make some magic happen. Um, next up, Arc Lord uh, Christia, old school. Ooh, a new hollow allure of darkness, and I am alluring all this love. So, good card there. Doomsday Horror, um, Destiny and Dragoon. And a Dark Lord Morning Star. All right, so we got one of our really good new Dark Lords. Uh, cannot be special summoned. Uh, this is this card is tribute. If this card is tribute summoned, you can special summon Dark Lord monsters from your hand and or deck up to the number of effect monster your opponent controls. So while you control another Dark Lord monster, your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. Once per turn, you can send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard equal to the number of Dark Lord monsters on the field. And if you do, gain 500 life points for each Dark Lord sent, uh, card sent to the graveyard by this effect. So, beefy card, 3,000 beater. Love the name. Um, just all around decent. Alright, what else we got here? Uh, a Destiny Hero Diamond Dude, a dar another Dark Hole. A Dark Eruption, haven't seen that guy in a long time. Over Destiny, this is a good card. Target one Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard. Special summon one Destiny Hero monster from your deck whose level is less than or equal to half of that target's level, but destroy it during the end phase of this turn. So, um, with the way the Destiny Hero engine with the graveyard seems to work, you'd have a Dogma or Plasma in there, activate this card, special summon one of your level fours, kind of get the rotating effect. So it's really nice. Uh, and then we got a D-Cubed, good card. Um, D-Cubed is one of the new Destiny Hero monsters. Uh, if this card is normal summoned, it is treated as a Destiny Hero monster while face up on the field, and you can only use each of the following effects of D cubed once per turn. Um, the first effect is you can discard up to two uh, cards, special summon D cubed uh, from your hand, deck, and or graveyard equal to the number discarded. Also for the rest of this turn, you cannot normal or special summon other monsters except Destiny Hero monsters. Um, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can send one Destiny Hero monster from your deck to the graveyard. So. Decent card, allows you to pull into your Destiny Hero engine. Really nice. All right, here, what we got, what we got. Ooh, I see him, I see him. My favorite Dark Lord, personally, Dark Lord Asmodeus. 
Um, this guy is just really cool because when he special uh, when he sent to the graveyard, special summon an Asmo and a Deus token. Uh, one's a level five, one's a level uh, three. So equals up to eight, eight star monster. Just really fun to have. Abyss Actors backstage, kind of a staple for the Abyss Actor setup. Pretty much as long as you control two Abyss Actor cards in your Pendulum Zones, you can add two Abyss Actor Pendulum Monsters with different names from your deck to your extra deck face up. So, that allows you to go to your Superstar, that allows you to go to your Evil Heal, that allows you to kind of just fill that extra deck spot up, similar to any other Pendulum deck. So really fun. Uh, Fantasy Magic, Malicious, Destiny Hero Dystopia, what the new boss monsters. I was hoping to see him. So Dystopia requires two Destiny Hero Monsters. If this card is Special Summoned, you can target one level 4 or lower Destiny Hero Monster in your graveyard. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to that target's attack. During either player's turn, if this card's current attack is different from its original attack, except during the damage step, you can target one card on the field, destroy it, and if you do, this card's attack becomes equal to this card's original attack. You can only use each effect of Destiny Hero Dystopia once per turn. So, not a bad card. Like that pop, like that boost. It's all good, it's all good. So, next up... Let's see. Escape from the Dark Dimension. Uh, not a bad card. Oldie but a goodie. Let's see. Destiny single Signal. Allows you to grow, draw into a level 4 or lower Destiny Hero Monster. Funky Comedian again. Fire Dragon's Lair. So this is really fun to see. Uh, target one Abyss Actor monster you control. If it destroys your opponent's monster by battle this turn, your opponent then banishes three monsters from their extra deck. Their choice. So, why is that fun? Well, I think you can understand the benefit of being able to destroy your opponent's monsters and then being able to banish three cards from their extra deck. The fun thing about Abyss Scripts is thanks to Superstar and Evil, um, Evil Heal, they're consistently recyclable both out of the graveyard and deck, so you can pull this card as many times as you need to until you've completely wiped out all 15 cards in their extra deck. I mean, of course, you're going to have to look out for negates and things like that, but overall, really nice. It has a secondary effect that if this set card, which is the same as any other um, Abyss Script card, if they're set, they all have a different effect. This one is if it's set and destroyed by an opponent's card effect, and you have a face-up Abyss Actor Pendulum Monster in your extra deck, you can look at your opponent's extra deck and then banish an additional monster from their extra deck. You get to choose. So not bad. And then, of course, Abyssy Superstar. Yep, she's really nice, mean, green, and clean. So when normal or special summoned, your opponent's spell trap card effects cannot be activated. Then once per turn, you can set from your deck. Uh, one Abyss Script spell card, but then it is sent to the graveyard during the end phase. Normally you want to combo this with Evil Heals effect, so that way you can kind of get it out of the graveyard, but not bad. Not a bad um, uh, Pendulum effect either. Once per turn, Tribute and Abyss Actor, then target one Abyss script, script spell card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So, again, like I said, the recycle effect for the Abyss Scripts are already prevalent in the monsters. So, really nice to see there. Okay, what we got here? What we got here? Okay. Dynatag! Destiny Hero Dynatag. So Dynamite Dude. Really fun. Um, level 5 monster during damage calculation in either player's turn. When you would take battle damage, you can discard this card. Make yourself take no battle damage. So, pretty much, Karibo. <laughs> uh, and then when it's in the graveyard, um, if you do take that, uh, take no battle damage, you, each player takes 1,000. So, if the damage would be like 3,000, you can make it 1,000. Yeah, it still kind of hurts a little bit, but it's better than taking the full damage. Um, in addition, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target a Destiny Hero, increase its attack uh, for 1,000 until the end of the turn. So, opponent's next turn, not your turn. So, really fun. Uh, Dark Lord Zerato, Drill Dark. Drill Dark's a new Destiny Hero as well. Uh, his effect is if he's normal or special summoned, you can uh, special summon one Destiny Hero monster from your hand with attack less than or equal to this card's attack. And then he also has Piercing, so... Really good because he pulls into, uh, he allows you to special summon Celestial, he allows you to special summon the Decider, um, pretty much any of the Destiny heroes at this point, so, uh, really fun card. Abyss Actor Extras, this guy is more important than you will ever realize. So an Abyss Actor deck, um, if you have at least one Abyss Actor in your Pendulum Scale, you can tribute this monster on the field, and you can add the, uh, uh, another Abyss Actor from your deck to the Pendulum Zone just by using that tribute, so... Abyss Actor Extra is a great card. Um, if, this, if this card is in your uh, Pendulum Zone and your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your Pendulum Zone and still get that tribute effect off. So, just kind of an add to the extra deck. Really fun card. Great to have. And then, there we go. Dark Lord Tezcatlipoca. Yeah. Uh, not going to try to say that name again. <laughs> uh, if a Dark Lord monster you control would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can discard this card instead. During either player's turn, you can pay a thousand life points, then target one Dark Lord spell or trap card in your graveyard, apply that target's effect, and then shuffle that target into the deck. 
You can only use the effect of Dark Lord Tesla Polka once per turn. You can special summon Dark Lord Tesla Polka once per turn. So, you can only pull one out on the field, but I only think you would only want to run him at one, but I'm not sure. Again, I'm not really savvy on the new uh, Dark Lord stuff. I'm going to do a little bit more research before I make full assessments. Um, let's see here. So we've got the beginning of the end. I always liked this card. You can kind of see the symbol, but it's really high, uh, hiding there. Um, if there are seven more dark monsters in your graveyard, banish five, and then draw three. So, kind of its own, like, pot of, uh, duality. Not duality, um, well, pretty much just kind of like that pot that takes away ten and banish them. Uh, then we got Dark Lord Marie, reprint of Marie the Fallen One. Same exact card, same exact effect, just new name to kind of link her back up with the Dark Lords. Uh, Wild Wagon, protecting your Abyss Actors from destruction once per turn. Fires of Doomsday, and Leading Lady. So, nice pull there. Alright, and then we've got Destiny Hero Dogma. Dark Lord Adair Ray. Sassy Rookie. Advanced draw and Dark Lord Enchantment. Okay. So, send one Dark Lord monster from your hand or face up from your field to the graveyard. Take control of one phase up monster your opponent controls until the end phase. You can only uh, activate one Dark Lord Enchantment per turn. So, nice little card there. Beginning to see a theme. Dark Lords seem to want to live in the graveyard. Not that that's a bad thing. Alright, what we got here? Destiny Hero Plasma. Superbia, a Veil of Darkness, a Creeping Darkness, and a Destiny Hero Celestia. Woo! Thirteen dollar card. Love this guy. When this card declares an attack, target one face up spell card your opponent controls and destroy it. And if you do, inflict five hundred damage to your opponent. While you have no cards in your hand except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card and one Destiny Hero monster from your graveyard to draw two. You can only use this effect once per turn. So, not bad. Not bad. I'm really happy to see that guy. Um, yeah, just. So far, really enjoying this deck. I mean, I, I personally was looking more forward to this than I think the Beard and Z were, but that's just because I have a thing for some of those older archetypes that never got a lot of love. So, uh, of course, we got a new reprint, Hollow Trade-In. Not bad. Um, another Valhalla. Dark Lord, Norse Refical. Abyss Actor, Fire Dragon's Lair. And Banishment of the Dark Lords. Uh, so add one Dark Lord card from your deck to your hand, except Banishment of the Dark Lords. You can only activate one Banishment of the Dark Lords per turn. So... Pretty much your rota for Dark Lords. Sorry about the quality there. Kind of using a different tripod mount today. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay. Diamond Dude. Endragoon. Oh, that was new. Malicious. <laughs> Over Destiny. And another... Dark Lord card, Dark Lord Rebellion. Send one uh, Dark Lord monster from hand or face up from your field to the graveyard. Destroy one card in the field. You can only activate one Dark Lord Rebellion per turn. So, not bad. So, we've got a lot of Dark Lord stuff so far, which not surprising considering the focus of the, the box. Alright, another Dynatag. Extras. Asmodeus, Wild Wagon, and another Wild Hope. So... Really good there. Alright, Creeping Darkness, Dogma, another Destiny Draw, Destiny Signal, and an Evil Heal! Boss Monster of the Abyss Actors. So, this mean son of a gun. He's the only level 8 in the, in the archetype so far. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one face-up monster or opponent controls. It loses 1,000 attack for each Abyss Actor monster you currently control. So, Blue Eyes users, I got three Abyss Actors, I summon him. Guess what? You're losing all your attack. Pretty fun. Um, in addition, uh, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, uh, you can set one, uh, target one Abyss Script spell card in your graveyard and set that card. Pendulum effect, once per turn you contribute one Abyss Actor monster, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. It loses attack equal to the original attack of the tributed monster until the end of this turn. So, pretty much Evil Heal just debuffs your enemy's monsters and gets you back your uh, Graveyard Abyss Script spell card. So, not bad. And then stay tuned, boys and girls. Um, later this week, we will have a uh, deck profile for the brand new Abyss Actor set. I've already built the deck. Um, I'm just kind of fine-tuning it right now, trying to find a nice engine that works with it and makes it really competitive. So stay tuned. Um, we've got another Drill Dark, Renurse Reficle, Arc Lord Christia, Opening Ceremony, and another Defusion. So, sweet. Got nice, nice, nice D-Hero cards. 
All right, another Fantasy Magic, Funky Comedian, Dark Illusion, Escape from the Dark Dimension, and a Rise of the Abyss King. So, this guy's pretty gnarly. This is a field wipe compared to how many uh, face-up uh, Abyss actor monsters with different names you control. Target face-up cards on the field equal to the number of, and destroy them. And then if you control level 7 or higher Abyss actor monster, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects to a response to this activation. So, ideally, Superstar and an Evil uh, Heal on the field at the same time, or either one individually, activate this card destroy any opponent's face-up cards. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, really exciting destruction card. Let's see here. All right, another Dark Eruption. Sassy Rookie, Dark Lord Zerato, Dark Lord Marie, and Abyss Actor Superstar. So, not hard to pull into them, as you can see. One of these boxes will probably get you more than enough to start off an Abyss Actor or Dark Lord or Destiny Hero build. So, have some fun. All right, another Manbell, Fires, Veil, vale, Horror, and Amdusk. Okay, new one. New, new, new one. Okay, 1828, uh, level seven. Wait, let's see, two, four, six, six card, okay. You can discard this card and one Dark Lord card and then target one Dark Lord card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. During either player's turn, you can pay a thousand life points, then target one Dark Lord spell trap card in your graveyard, apply that target's effect, and then shuffle that target into the deck. You can only e use each effect of Dark Lord Am's Amdusk once per turn. You can only special summon one Dark uh, Lord Amdusks per turn. So, not bad. Kind of like in the... The very fantasy look of the new Dark Lord. It's kind of like Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse meets uh, Fallen Angels. It, it, I just like it. It's his personal opinion. Uh, Destiny and Dragoon, Diamond Dude, a Day Array, Dark Hole, and another D-Cube. So, not bad. And we're nearing the end. We only got two packs left. Uh, backstage, beginning of the end, opening ceremonies, advanced draw, and Destiny Hero Dark Angel. So, this guy, not bad. A uh, level one monster, You, uh, ha if you have three or more Destiny Hero monsters in your graveyard, you can discard this card, then target one Destiny Hero monster in your graveyard, and special summon it to your opponent's field in defense position. When a spell card or effect activate that, or effect you activate resolves, negate the effect, and if you do, or if it did not have an effect, destroy that card. During your standby phase, you can banish this card and add and one Destiny Hero monster from your graveyard. Each player chooses one normal spell card from their deck and places it on top of it. So, it's a good way to go into your Clock Tower or any of your own uh, other field spells that you might be comboing up with it. Just a good way to kind of recover into the spells that you're looking for. So, a little bit of a convoluted effect, but it does seem to work. So, hopefully uh, we can see some more action with it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Looks like we're starting off with a Superia. Destiny Draw, Plasma, Allure. And another Dystopia! Woo! Pretty happy to see two of those. Um, I just ordered my two Dark Law Masked Heroes. Uh, like I said, I am going to be building another variant of the Destiny Hero deck, uh, comboing it up with the Silent Swordsman, so stay tuned. And final pack. Uh, Prometheus, Dynatag, Christia, Traden, and another Dark Lord Morningstar. So... Not a bad pull. Um, really happy about it. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yep, stay tuned. We've got some new videos coming up as the week goes on. Hope to keep you interested. Hope to keep you good. Make sure you recommend us to your friends. And don't forget, keep on dueling out there. You guys have a great day.